Um, so you went to the Electronic Bay and bought yourself an Ableton Performance Controller. And then you went to the Pirate Bay and downloaded Adobe Premiere. You're a bad boy. <laughs> and then you thought, Psh, how hard could it be to put these two lovebirds together? I mean, it's showing up in my MIDI device thingy, Majigger. What the hell? But like nothing happens when you twiddle the knobs and such. And then after Googling some internets, you discover that in the 90s, they came up with a computery thing called... That is what Premiere uses. Not MIDI, like the FSA. But that's like why God invented the MIDI translator, dummy. Here's where you can go and find it. Don't worry, we're downloading the classic version, which is free. There is a pro version, which is a little bit easier to deal with, but it's okay. When you use the free version, you're going to have to download the classic and the loop B. You'll make sure that you download the right one, because I didn't the first time, so go ahead and click here. And then when it's running, make sure it's not muted. At the very bottom where the toolbar is down here, there's a little icon. Make sure it's not muted. Okay, moving on. Here we go. Into so after you install, go to the in MIDI part and find your APC. And then go to the out and find the program loop B. And then you're going to, I'm going to make a new preset here. I'm going to call this one old and then this one not old. And then I'm going to call this fader. It's like fader one. Okay. And then we're going to double click it. And you got to move it over. And then you can, you can change the name here too if you want. I'm going to add that one. So it's like proper. And then you go to the uh, the end here, MIDI message, and you're going to click on Capture MIDI and move the dial, the fader one that you want to move, and you just move it. There you go, and now it should show up and it's capturing. Now we're going to go to MIDI message again, and this is going to be E as in Edward, zero as in the number zero. And that is hexadecimal binary such and such is for um, pitch wheel. And QQPP is the variable. I don't really know all that stuff, but I do know you need it. Um, so just do it. Just do what I say. Go to preferences. And it's in the bottom. <laughs> and then go to control surface. And then it's going to have nothing in here. So let me get it back to where it was. So let's delete this. All right, click on add under device class. Click Mackie. Hit the OK button. Select Mackie and hit settings. Select Mackie control. Hit edit. Make sure you've selected a loop B as your input and output as APC 40. OK your way all the way out. Now don't miss this next step under the hamburger menu by audio clip toggle control surface and keyframe and latch it's this you can get to it a couple of ways with the little blue dot right by the uh, solo and mute thing or with that drop down I'm on alt tab over back to classic MIDI translator and then let's add one more this is gonna be fader deuce um, yeah just change the name go to your input and do same thing my MIDI message you know what I'm talking about hit the capture move your second fader Get all that MIDI goodness and then go into MIDI message again and this time this is going to be Edward 1. Whatever I know my numbers. You start with 0 then you go to 1. 0 equals 1, 1 equals 2. It's a little weird but that's kind of how this works. Some MIDI things are that way. <laughs> Just live with it. Um, yeah so now your first one works and your second one works. That's it and just continue down the line Go from one to however many faders y'all got there on your... I mean, I guess this APC only has eight and a master. Yeah, I'll have the project file in the show notes. Don't forget to raid, sandwich, and prescribe. If you don't have any questions, don't forget to Kermit below. All right, take care. Bye-bye.